Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's uh, that's my channel that you clicked on. You're watching another video. Thank you so much. Uh, and I hope that you enjoy this episode. Also, huge shout out to those watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. You guys rock my socks. Uh, anyways, in the last episode, we got here to Deningrad and saw all of the FMVs like, more FMVs that have existed in the game so far were displayed in front of us in the first, like, I don't even know how many minutes of this, of the last episode. And in this episode, we are going to, well, we're going to head to the Forest of Wingleys after a pretty traumatic experience here in Dinningrad. That's right, this episode, my friends, this episode is going to start off with another FMV, but we need our friends Rose and Miru with us before that can happen. Well, speak of the devil and she shall appear. Did you find out anything about Lloyd? No, there's no trace yet. I just happened to meet them. This is Luana and Seti. Excuse me, but you had some changes in your body recently. Uh, what are you talking about? Sister Luana, Sister Seti! Oh, thank you, Sister Luana. Now I can walk outside. How can I thank you? It's fine. That is what we, the Sacred Sisters, are for. I would like to talk to you. Can we go someplace else? Hmm. Looks like we're having a little bit of a meeting here in the inn. You are the renowned sacred sisters of Milisezu, Sister Luana, and Sister Seti. It is my pleasure to meet you. It's my pleasure to meet the heroes who defeated the sea dragons in Elisa Bay. I was really lucky to follow her from Neat. Sister Luana, I heard about you from Librarian Ute. We have something in common. We are survivors of Neat. So you went through that tragedy. Do you remember anything about other survivors or, or the whereabouts of the black monster or anything? What I remember is only the sound of terror. I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. I see. But yeah, it's okay. The fact that somebody survived that tragedy means I can have hope that continuing my journey will someday lead to the black monster. I'm with you too. Oh, does this mean you went to Neat too, Rose? I told you. I just happened to be there. Um, Sister Luana, what about the health of Mr. Dart? Yes, well, what do you mean the unusualness of my body? I see that you people have strong powers. A power that is beyond humans. It seems that the source of your power is in turmoil. Another power that has influence over you is anticipating the liberation. That is what I see. That is all I can tell. If it confuses you more, please forgive me. Ugh. What is this? Oh no, Sister Luana! This is... The answer to your question. You may find out the truth about the entity that has influence over you now. War is not in human nature. Humans fight by making themselves enter insanity. It is the same for revenge. This is a tool to amplify the insanity. And this insanity is the source of the power of dragoons, the Dragon Knight. Someday, something will happen, and if you cannot chasten your insanity, I wonder if you will be able to endure it, giving the meagerness of your spirit. Dart? I'm fine. Oh, but are you? Good morning to the Divine Dragon.
the King of Dragons has been released. Also, there was two dudes in a watchtower there, and you just know they were sweating. Anger or animosity towards humans or all things. Hey, buddies! Uh, oh my god, oh my god, could it be? The arrival of the one who glares through seven diabolic eyes and who crosses the sky with seven wings. It's trouble. It's the King of Dragons, the Divine Dragon. The legend was true. The King of Dragons, sealed by the long-gone winglies, rest in the ground of Milisezu. Once it awakens again, it shall bring terror to the world. Again, we are facing a dragon. What are, are you people? We are the Dragoons. We are the Dragon Knights who have the power to rule dragons. Dragoons? The legendary Dragon Knights? That is the reason why I feel a strong power in you, but why did the dragons come to this country? Is it because of that dragon? No. We're here to pursue a man. He's a sneaky, dangerous man, even for those with the strength of us Dragoons. What did that man do? He engaged in secret maneuvers during the Serdian War, and formed a conspiracy for a coup d'etat in Tiberoa. Is he going to bring evil to Milosezu? Oh, is that the dragon? Please, see Queen Teresa. It seems that we need the power of you dragoons. Yeah, you gosh darn too, and you do. So we'll have an opportunity to change our party now that we have Miru and Rose back into our party. We'll go ahead and put Miru in uh, because she's a wingling and um, uh, winglings are cool. So <laughs> that's it. This guy's going to move for us now and we can go into the palace. Oh my God, that is the dragon. It's so big. Uh, before we can go, we go in there. If you if you want to, you could go and talk to everybody. They're like people in the in the in the town. Uh, essentially, they're just going to be like, "Whoa, that was a big dragon!" And they're right. It was. It was a pretty large dragon. <laughs> that is the legendary dragon. What a dreadful creature it is! I've never seen such a dreadful creature. Is it dreadful? The the dragon was flying over us. <laughs> the dragon flew over us with a giant. Whoosh! Oh my god, that is the dragon! It's so big! My my knees are still quivering from the shock! Dragons in Sordio, Tiberoa, and Milsezu. Aren't they supposed to be extinct? Dragons here and dragons there, aren't they supposed to be extinct? He, I love how he like didn't it just okay. That creature we call a dragon didn't do anything, it just flew away. I wonder if the dragon didn't do anything because of the blessing of the divine tree. Wow, that's a thought. What about this? What are you walking around? Oh, divine tree, please save us. It's a tree! What is it gonna do? What is it? What? A Anyways. We want to go to the palace now. This is, uh, this is gonna be a weird episode. Uh, because, well, for those that have never played this game, something's about to happen. And I think you're gonna be, I think your rocks are gonna be, so are, are gonna be, your socks are gonna be rocked? That, yeah, 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 that one. If you head into the library, there's actually a bunch of people in here now. Uh, before, there was obviously no one because it was just our party members, but you can talk to them. There seems to be something going on outside. I wonder if something happened. Yeah, a big-ass dragon flew around you in a library. Would you miss all that? I'm doing some important research now. Do you mind being quiet? All right, you're rude. Moving on. Hello. I'm studying about the dragon campaign under Mr. Ute. Listen, you know me. I gotta go talk to everybody, okay? That's just the way it works. Maybe, maybe the dragon is the divine dragon, which is supposed to be in the mountain of mortal dragon. The mountain of mortal dragon. The legend that the king of dragons rests in the mountain of dragon tomb was true. Well, okay. So what is it? Is it the mountain of dragon tomb or the m mountain of mortal dragon? Yeah, it's fine. I don't know if that's another typo or what, but uh, yeah, they 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 call it the the mountain the mountain of dragon tomb very interesting anyways the real place like i said that we want to go even you i mean you could talk to like i said you could talk to literally everyone you can talk to these kids and they're gonna be like there was a dragon we must all look like tiny bugs let's run away uh the the dragon flew right over me it flew over all of us it's horrible okay that person had a lot to contribute to the conversation i'm really glad that we clicked on them Welcome, my friends, to the Crystal Palace in Dinningrad. This place is beautiful. I love it so much. We can manage fighting against humans. We can deal with animals in the forest, too. But that dragon is... 
Yeah. So that is the dragon, the species from the legend. How dreadful and ill-willed a creature. I, they seem pretty nice, to be honest with you. Like, they could have destroyed your entire place, but they didn't, so... If the dragon comes again, the city will be in pandemonium. Then the knighthood will be deployed to maintain order. Then, who will go to vanquish the dragon? Wh what should we do? There are not enough people to vanquish the dragon. Yeah, well, that's why you got dragoons! So this is the first map or, or room or whatever of the palace. Uh, I just love it. I think it's it's such a beautiful place. Um, definitely my favorite of the castles and palaces that we've seen so far. They all have such unique, distinguishing features about them. So, presently, the head of the knighthood is talking about the measures being taken against the dragon. Please be quiet. Uh, I wasn't even... The only thing we can do is to protect the castle and city. So there are other rooms that we can go explore. Really, what we want to do is just continue, but I thought I would just show this off. So, right here, there is an item that we can grab, which is a Holy Ankh. And we can't get any Stardust just yet, but soon we'll be able to get all of the Stardust. It's just... It's just not yet. A dragon? Of course it's scary, but I have my work to deal with. Forget about the past, now I have to focus on my own work. It was, it was literally like five minutes ago, though, dude. Like, why are you... Why are you... Why are you yelling? We can talk to these guys that are sitting here chilling. Even if it is impossible, we still have to deal with it. We cannot imagine where he will land. We don't even know if we can penetrate his scales. How can we devise a strategy? You can't. It's true. We are now pondering over the strategy against the dragon. Please come back later. Okay. But you you guys won't be able to do anything, so I just thought I'd point that out. A dragon! Oh, how dreadful! See, isn't this castle just amazing? Oh, my god, I love it so much. It's beautiful. But like I said, you can't get any stardust just yet, so don't worry about it. There are a ton of stardust that we can actually grab, though, so... Wanna... Wanna just... Wanna just say that real quick. Up here, we can talk to this guy. How should we fight against the dragon? Uh... I don't know. Look at this place, it's so cute! Oh my god, how dreadful! What a dreadful creature it is! Did you see the dragon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it flew... It flew... Oh, it was big. Now, there's also an angel's prayer that we can get, which I believe is actually, I missed it, but it was sitting right over here. It's actually kind of hard to miss, uh, but I remember that there are two chests in here, not just one. Right here, and we can get a angel's prayer, which is, I mean, that is, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Anyways, we want to head and talk to Queen Teresa here. That is, that is the goal, my friends. Can't believe I almost missed that chest. It would have been the end of this entire playthrough. I missed that angel's prayer. All right, right up here to the throne room. What I'm telling you is that whatever the monster is, with the force of the holy knights, nothing can stand against us. Have you ever, ever seen the monster? According to the briefing by my man, it is bigger than a cloud and faster than our horses. It's impossible for such a creature to exist. Where does your confidence come from? It is impossible for such a creature to exist! You idiot! Talking about the enemy based on mere assumptions. Are you going to expose your men to such danger? You are dismissed, Commander of Knights. Yes, ma'am. Wow, he got smacked, dude. Calm down, Miranda. You are in front of guests. Luana, Seti, I'm glad to see you came back safe. You've never changed, Sister Miranda. He doesn't understand the current condition. Who are these people? I brought them in order to save Milisezu from the intruder. You said to save. If we do not take action, it will attack us again, and next time, it might attack us directly. Do you know anything about the monster? It is the Divine Dragon, awakened from his long rest. No wonder he's cranky. The Divine Dragon? You are talking about that monster sealed in the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Yes, the King of Dragons sealed in by the ancient Winglies. The Divine Dragon came back to life. Are you sure of that? Please relax, Miranda. You said you will save this country. 
Is it possible for us humans to defeat a dragon? We don't know yet. However, we might be able to stop it. <sighs> what confidence you have. We are the Dragon Knights, who rule dragons, the Dragoons. There is nobody but us who can stand up to him. Are you saying you are the heroes from the Dragon Campaign, the Dragoons? I was surprised too. However, I don't see any falsehood in their heart. It means... May we request your help in vanquishing the Divine Dragon. You are free to ask. In either case, we have to meet him. But we have a favor to ask, Your Majesty. There is one thing we need in order to cross swords with the Divine Dragon. It is said that Wingleys made two weapons in ancient times to fight against dragons. One is a sword to kill dragons, namely the Dragon Buster. W what? How do you know about that, Rose? Uh... <laughs> Oops, uh, I didn't say anything. Wait a second, isn't that the sword? Yes, it is. It's the sword that the bastard used to kill Lavitz. I'll never forget. Therefore, we have no choice but to count on the other weapon. What could that be? The Dragon Block Staff. As the name implies, it is a magic staff to block the power of dragons. And where is the Dragon Block Staff? I was going to ask you. Actually, it seems that one of us knew about it. Miru? Uh, what are you talking about? Do you know about it? Please tell us, for the sake of this country. Why are you hesitating? Uh, okay, okay, uh, I'll tell you guys, all right? I think it's in the Forest of Wingleys. The Forest of Wingleys? Where the heck's that? Um, uh, it's in the northern part of the Evergreen Forest. If so, are you saying that Wingleys still live? Uh-huh. It seems that the myth of fairies in the Evergreen Forest area was true. Remember, way back in Fernie? Queen Teresa. I'm heading to the Forest of Wingleys with these people in order to borrow the Dragon Block Staff. Are you coming too? Of course. The problems are too big to just leave to you. Besides... Hmm. I want to see how far you Dragoons can go. If you really have the power as described in the legend. I beg you people, please save Milisezu from the Divine Dragon. Now, we are heading to the Forest of Wingleys. No time for procrastination. I like her. What's going on, Shauna? Please wait. I don't see Shauna. Where did she go? What timing? Let's go look for her. We have no time to waste. Uh, Shauna? Wh- wh- why- why did she leave us? That's weird. Is she even- is she even on our party? That's so strange! Where'd she go? See if she's still in the throne room. It looked like she was looking at a door. Maybe Queen Teresa will know. Hello. Oh, Miss Shana, she went to the Chamber of the Signet. The Signet? The lady with you went to the Chamber of the Signet. The Signet, you say? Is anything wrong with the lady? She ran off to the Chamber of the Signet without saying a word. Okay. What is this? Shana! Shana, are you alright? Where... Where am I? When did I come here? What happened? I don't know. But... That took me. Miranda, what is this room for? This castle used to be a fort for Wingleys. 
I heard that this room used to be a chamber for a ceremony to seal something, but it was more than 10,000 years ago. Isn't it the reason the Divine Dragon made a raid on the Crystal Palace? In other words, he is trying to work off his hatred against Winglies. Ah, so he thinks Winglies are here. Why did you come here alone? Were you called again, like the time with the Virage? No, it was different this time. I woke up and I was here. I feel hot. It's gone. My... Oh! Whoa! What? What's this? I cannot manage it, manage it anymore. I don't feel the power of the white silver dragon. You... You are a dragoon too. Me? Dragoon spirits manipulate fate. Hmm. I can no longer... Uh, Shauna. Hey, what's going on? What is this stone? Well, now, that's a turn of events. I see. I passed out. Are you alright? Yes, but I don't think... I don't think I can go with you anymore. There's nothing you can do in your condition. I knew it from the day I looked at the moon in Fernie. I was sure this would happen. We will be back as soon as we defeat the Divine Dragon, so wait for me till then. Lighten up! I will work hard for you, Shauna. Congo too. It won't be long. Dart will be back with you soon, Shauna. Don't worry. I'm accustomed to waiting. But thanks, everyone. This is really sad. Why is this so sad? Miranda. Please take care of... the rest. I know. Well, my friends, we now have our official final party. Miranda has taken the place of Shauna permanently for the rest of the game. That's right, Shauna is no longer in our party, and instead, we now have Miranda, the first sacred sister of Milosezu, the adopted daughter of Queen Teresa herself. She inherits everything that Shauna does. She still fights with the bow. She keeps the dragoon level of five. She still has all of the SP, everything. She keeps the level, all of the gear that Shauna had equipped now goes to Miranda. Anything that Shauna could equip, Miranda can now equip. They obviously don't have an addition, any additions. She still fights with a bow, uh, and I thought that I would point that out. Something that's also super interesting now that you have Miranda in your party is that now, if you were to go and do the Kamui quest, how Shauna saved Kamui at the end by using the White Silver Dragon, Miranda will actually make a remark about she knows what Shauna would want. And she knows what Shauna would do. So she actually will save Kamui if you decide to do that side quest now. Miss Shauna needs to rest. It seems both her heart and body are very tired. She's sleeping. Well, there we go, friendos. We now have our full and final party. Now, before you head to the Forest of Wingleys, we have uh, a couple of things that we can do. We're not gonna do, we're not gonna worry about it too much right now. Uh, it's fine, we'll be back here. So I'm not gonna, basically we can backtrack all the way to Salise now that Shauna is here in Deningrad and no longer in the party. Because don't forget, uh, Shauna's parents are in Salise waiting for us and they wanna, they wanna talk and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, also this before you go into the Forest of Winglies, this is one of the last chances that you have to stock up before uh, a pretty difficult bo boss fight, including this is your last chance to actually go to Lohan and stock up on uh, those spinning gales that I got in a previous episode. That's something that you're definitely going to want going forward. So we're actually going to I'm going to change my party up a little bit here because again, I want additions. I don't really want people that have 
Like Miranda, Miranda's awesome, and I can't wait to show you how cool she is. Uh, but I don't really want her in my party right now because she's she's kind of as maxed out as we can get her. So um, instead, we're gonna put Kongul in the party. Uh, so we're gonna be rocking a party of Kongul and Miru. And like I said, we need to head to the Evergreen Forest. Trust me, we're gonna be going here a lot because it kind of is the the path, the way uh, to everything else that we can get to, including the Forest of Winglies. I think it's super cute too that if you remember in Fernie, the little kid was talking about how the, he read a book about uh, fairies in the Evergreen Forest. Well, turns out there are fairies in the Evergreen Forest, but they're Winglies. And you actually, I actually showed the entrance to this place uh, in a, in the previous ep, in one of the previous episodes. It was a big, thick forested area. Which, it's actually easy enough to get up here. It's just right up here, right to the North Passage. But, of course, we wouldn't be able to get to the Forest of Winglies if we didn't have Miru. A dead end. Here we are at the entrance to the Forest of Winglies. <laughs> Maybe I'll be kicked out again. Where's the entrance? I see nothing. There is a magical boundary here. Winglies have locked themselves in the forest since the Dragon Campaign. How come they didn't live with humans? <laughs> you know about the Dragon Campaign. It is the war that humans who obtained the power of the Dragoons started in order to liberate themselves from the control of Winglies. Some Winglies are still angry about that. Besides, Winglies have a power that humans don't have. Whoa! The Ancestor told me that the power draws a line between humans and us. Miru, are you? Yep, I'm a Wingly. <laughs> are you surprised? Yeah! Why didn't you tell us? Would you believe me? Would you consider me as a friend if I told you guys? It doesn't matter. Miru's Miru, right? Hell yeah! Now, let's go see the Winglies. Now we are dealing with serious stuff. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Have you not been the entire rest of the game? Anyways, right over in front of us is the entryway to the Forest of the Winglies. I wonder what would happen to us if the Divine Dragon came to this forest. We would fight it with our magic, but probably we would fail, given our current level of power. But the ancestors said that we don't- we won't become extinct if we cooperate with other species. Other species? Are you talking about humans? That's right. But I wonder if everybody in the forest can understand that, including me. Oh, uh, well, you're about to, bubs. The seal! Oh, they're gonna be so mad. Miru! The humans! You brought humans here! I'm going to let the Ancestor know! Oh, they're gonna be mad, dude. Don't shoot! They're my friends! We're not here to fight. We're here to borrow the Dragon Block Staff. The Dragon Block Staff! Miru, how dare you speak about our secret to them! But the Divine Dragon is now awake! But, but what can humans do if they cannot even use magic? Should we break through? No, no, we should not. We have to take some action or everything may be destroyed. That includes the Forest of Wingleys and human cities. Everyone, hold on. The ancestor says he'll meet with the humans. You, please don't agitate the people in the forest. We are not used to seeing humans. Watch out for the Bardell brothers. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Let's go, Dart. The ancestor Blano is in the back of the forest. So, we opened our way into the forest. Uh, well, actually, you know what? We'll continue this way. We'll continue. I, I was going to say, there's actually, right now, is a really good time to head to Neat. There's no reason to ever really go there in the game. Uh, but now would be a really good time to go. We'll actually go before we finish up this area. I love also that Dart and them can just use these with no problemo. 
the teleporters. I would have thought they only respond. Oh, these people are going to freak out, dude. So you are the humans. This is the first time I've seen one. Humans and winglies, their appearance is almost the same. Yeah, it really is. This forest does not welcome humans. Some even have murderous intentions towards humans, like the Bardell brothers. Yeah, I can take them. It's an order of the ancestor. I'll carry you to the back. Uh, yeah, please. So we can talk to this guy. He'll actually bring us up here. Nice. That's, that's very nice. So we're going to head into this room. Look at this place. This, they're, these are the beds of the Wingly. They have funny shapes. Yeah, they're like little pods. Like cocoons. The walls between species are thicker than you would think. But maybe you can destroy them. I feel that way. Oh. We respect the intention of the Ancestor. The Ancestor trusted you. We trust you too. Oh, these are some good peeps, man. I kind of thought they'd be like really angry and mad and want to fight. But no, these are, these guys are nice. Oh, hello. Father, mother, I'm home. Uh-oh. Miru, do you realize what you are doing? So they are the humans who have deluded you. Don't talk bad about my friends. Miru, I'm still me. I want to protect everybody in the forest in my own way. With Dart and friends. The ancestor believed in Miru and is allowing the humans to pass through here. You have to believe in Miru too. Hmm. Humans over there. The dragon is supposed to be your ally. Winglies and humans are enemies. Why are you trying to defeat the dragon with us? The dragon campaign has been over for more than 10,000 years. Besides, there's no reason for our two species to fight each other, is there? Honey, our ideas may be too old. Please take care of Miru. You don't need to say such a thing. I'm the one taking care of them. Oh, Miru is taking care of... Yep. Ooh. Dart and everybody. <laughs> Dart. I assume there is no time for this. He's right, Miru. Let's get going to the Ancestor. Okay. You're right. Your father talks harshly to you, but actually, he's happy to see your face. Besides... He likes Dart and friends. Don't be yapping about silly things. Just go see the Ancestor. Okay, I will. He loves me, Rue. He's just, he's a tough, old, tough guy. Your mother is right. Seeing you makes me feel relieved. You are living your own way. Of course. I'm your only daughter, Father. I think a lot. Bye now. Oh, that was so touching. I really liked that. That was cute. Your father wanted you to come home, Miru, all the time. Oh, stop it. Come on. No matter how much of a failure she is, she is our daughter. There's no other place for Miru to come home to. Father, st stop it. <laughs> you, oh, you look happy. Later, Gator. <laughs> it's the best. Now, this is the teleporter that we want to use, but we're not going to use that one just yet. We're actually going to use this one right here. That will bring us a little bit more into, like, the, I don't know, the marketplace, I guess you 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 can say, of the Wingly area. I really don't want to give the magic items to the humans. Right here, we have, buy some rare stuff, a Wingly item seller. Holy smokes. This is where we can actually buy some Healing Breeze, some Sun Rhapsodies, anything that we can need or will need in the next uh, area that we're going into. This is the place to stock up for it. You can also buy Dark Mist and Black Rain here, but we're not gonna worry about that just yet. There's no real reason to get any of that. Right here, we can buy some magical weapons, which of course means that we can buy a new hammer for our dear Miru. So we'll go ahead and put that war hammer on her right away. And then we also have a magical ring, which in raises magical attacking power, which is very, very strong. Uh, and in fact, it's something that we're going to buy because potentially we want to give that to Miranda for a certain fight that we have coming up. We also have a spiritual ring here, which raises magical defense power. All of this is super useful against a boss fight that we have coming up. And I really, really just wanted to point that out. Trust me, these are very good items to have equipped if you don't have anything better uh, for magic based attacks. Trust, you're going to want it. So we're going to use this teleporter and we'll check out this right here. What is this? Let me show you some cool stuff. 
Whoa, what is that? What is this? It's the Archangel. It's the guardian god of the Winglies. The ancestor told me. You say told me, but don't you worship it too, Miru? I don't know. I've never been protected. Maybe I just don't know, though. Okay, end of tour. Okay. I just want to say something. Keep that scene in mind. This archangel. You want to look at it again? I do. This archangel right here. Keep it in mind for the final episodes of this game. Uh, and I'll, I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll point it out when we get there. Just thought, just thought I would point that out. That is right there. One of the only times that you will ever hear anything about an archangel. So I just, I just think that's super cool. Let's use this teleporter to maybe go to an old friend's home. The home of Miru's childhood friends. Miru, I knew it. You're coming back to me. Uh, hello? You're humans. So, you are the friends of Miru. That's right. <laughs> this is Gu Guaraha, a friend of mine. You said I am just your friend. Uh, we grew up together? <laughs> you are my fiancé. Uh, what? I didn't know you had a fiancé, Miru. Hmm, there is more to you than I thought, Miru. Wow, what are you talking about? It's true, isn't it? Uh, I thought she was still a kid. Must be true that the Winglies have a long life and they are not as young as they look. What are you analyzing me for? What kind of relationship do you have with Miru? Relationship? We're just friends. At first, she insisted on following us. Is that so? We have no time to talk about that. Waraha, why are you cooping yourself up in here? There are awful things going on outside. As the ancestor told us, the divine dragon has come back to life, hasn't it? Why aren't you defending the forest? The other day, I let you in the forest, Miru. I'm on probation now. Of course I would defend the forest if I could. Whatever. We're going to see the ancestor. You just stay here and be gloomy. Miru, you've changed. You still want to marry me? <laughs> you can be changed too if you go outside, Guaraha. I... There is a commandment for us Winglies. We cannot do what you want us to do, Miru. Yes, you can. It's true. You can. Anyways, right up in this corner. Is it a decoration for the shelf? Doesn't seem very nice. It's another Stardust. Hell yeah. Are you still cooping yourself up in here? There's a commandment for us Winglies. We cannot do what you want us to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's get going, Dark. Okay, so apparently we just can't talk to him because we'll get yelled at. And, like, I don't want to get yelled at. Anyways, that's it for the, the Forest of Winglies. And now, my friends, we need to go talk to the Ancestor. So we'll just backtrack, use these teleporters. Get used to these teleporters, by the way, because where we are heading, they are going to be the there. They're going to be there. A lot of them. And as soon as you're ready, go ahead and use this teleporter right here. Cute. Look at this place. You cannot use magic? You cannot even fly? It must be very inconvenient. Well, I can fly, but I have to turn into a dragoon, and room upstairs is for recovering your health. F please feel free to use it. It's an order from the ancestor. Oh, nice. Linus. She's not a wingling from this forest. Oh. Linus. A wingling who we don't know. I thought we were the last of the winglings. We are not the wa last winglings. It seems there are places other than this forest for winglings to live. Wine of the winglings. So before we head up, I want to show you that there is actually a Stardust that we can find right here. Oh. Oh, correct. Stardust. And now we can head up here. So bring us up to this. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Bardell, are you bothering us again? The Divine Dragon can be taken care of by us without asking humans for help. Besides, we have no business talking to a betrayer who ran off to humans. What happened to you? The Bardell I knew was much kinder and wasn't like that. My baby sister was killed by a human. Oh no. My baby sister was influenced by you, Miru, and left the forest believing that the outside world was wonderful. We don't need humans' help. Do you have something else to say? Get out. 
There might be more people killed now. Good for you. It's a good chance to learn how helpless you humans are. But we winglies won't die. Our magic power surpasses the dragons. You are strong, huh? Don't make me laugh. I wonder if you have noticed you are declining because you cling to the glory of the past. What are you talking about? You can barely fly and that's about it, right? Maybe you won't think that way after this! Whoa! Huh? No way. Is this the legendary dragoon? Please, let us take care of the divine dragon. That was dope, Dart. I'll come back to take care of your baby sister's matter after my journey has ended. So please trust us for now. The ones who flaunt their power disappear when the truly powerful appear. I'm going ahead. We cannot even have revenge for our baby sister anymore. The divine dragon cannot be... I feel weak in my knees. I cannot move. Is this real? <laughs> you wimp. Brother. How dare you humans. Just because you are afraid of our magic power, you are sending the destroyers of old dragoons at us. Silly humans. I'll pass sentence for the sin of killing my sister. I'll annihilate them now. All I have to say, buddy, is bring it. Bring it. So we can go ahead and talk to this guy. I heard from the Ancestor. You want me to carry you to the upper level? So undignified. But yes, please bring us up there because I can't fly. Interesting that Dart was able to use his Dragoon Spirit there, even though he wasn't technically in battle. I guess he was. There's nobody here. Where is the Ancestor? Uh, my body is being healed. Is this the magical healing? I wonder if it is an apology for the discourtesy. Ancestor, sorry we're late. Whoa, okay, hello. Welcome, humans in Giganto. I am Blano, the ancestor of the forest. I am the first sacred sister of Milisezu, Miranda. Please forgive our sudden visit. I would like you to listen to our story. The Divine Dragon is... I know. The Divine Dragon came back to life in the Mountain of the Mortal Dragon, and there are dragoons that have come to us. It seems that the times won't leave us alone. The messenger from the Crystal Palace and the people who were fated to come here. Our opponent is so enormous. We have to combine each of our strengths or none of us will survive. Neither the Crystal Palace nor our forest. You mean... Let us put the power of the Dragoons and our wisdom together. You will let us borrow your Dragon Block Staff. We don't have the Dragon Buster now, so the Dragon Block Staff is our last resort. We no longer have the power to master that, however, if you who rule the Dragons can use it, we can fight against the Divine Dragon. I appreciate your kindness. However, we cannot participate in the battle. We are all that remain. We cannot become extinct. I'm going. I know. You're a dragoon too, Miru. Hmm. Go inside. I will show you the way to the dragon block staff. I'll meet you there, Miru. You are attracted to those humans. Yep. They're really cool, Ancestor. I want to go on the journey with them. And I want to see my mother and father anytime I want. Are you telling me to throw our commandment away? It is not the right time yet. But eventually, in the near future, the time will come when us and humans live together. Go with them. As a wingly, go see humans, or better yet, the entire world. Your experience will lead us. Okay, I hear ya. I'll meet you there. If 
Miru is the one leading us to the outer world. Where are those humans leading the world to? It must be the flow of time. Only the fates can tell. And before us stands the way to Cadessa, the forbidden lands of the Wingly, the place that we've actually seen in the FMV that showed the end of the dragon campaign where all of those dragoons lost their lives and Melbu Frama was defeated. That, my friends, is where we are heading in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Dragoon right here on Mistledine Online. Uh, huge shout out to those, again, that are watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I love hanging out with you guys and I love, I love watching the videos with you and, and kind of saying what's going on. Thank you so much. Also, if you want to watch me uh, live stream every Friday, uh, Thursday, to, I know, I know what days I stream, Thursday to Saturday uh, at 9 a.m. Eastern, I stream over on twitch.tv slash Missile Giant Online. You can come hang out with the Nerd Herd. Thank you again for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Divine Dragon.